Hello, welcome to Election Minute, where my videos are never a minute. With Biden leading in the polls and Trump's approval rating going down, it seems as if most individuals are jumping the gun and saying that Biden will certainly win. The problem is that even though we are under 100 days until the election, there are still plenty of things that must happen before the election takes place in order to make a solid judgment on how the election could turn out. Out of all the things that can happen, here are the three things that I believe must happen for me to make a solid prediction as to how the 2020 presidential election will go down. The first important thing that needs to happen are the party conventions. Party conventions are held to confirm who their nominee for president will be in the upcoming election. Though we already know that Trump and Biden are going to be the nominees for president in 2020, they are still the presumptive nominees, which means that they are not officially the party nominees yet. The Democratic National Convention will start August 17th and the Republican National Convention will start August 24th. The most anticipated convention, to me at least, will be the Democratic National Convention because by that point we will finally know who Joe Biden's running mate will be by then. Also something interesting to note is that the Republicans convention takes place after the Democrats, probably because it'll give Trump a chance to make negative comments towards the Democratic convention that would have already taken place. The second thing that must happen are debates. Though the debates for most are not a deal breaker, a major gaffe on Biden's or even Trump's part could shift the election. The debates will be the first time we will see both Trump and Biden together in person. Topics like the virus and George Floyd protests will more than likely come up, which should put Trump at a disadvantage. However, depending on how Biden chooses to respond could cause a debate to go the other way around. Some have pointed out that the debates could possibly not happen due to COVID-19. However, Biden not participating in any debate would likely be too detrimental for his campaign due to him being seen as a coward. More than likely, if they were too concerned about the virus regarding the debates, they will probably just host it online, which might be super awkward and cringeworthy to watch regardless of how Trump and Biden perform. The third and final thing that I believe needs to happen are just general events. Before 2020 started, I do not think the average person could have anticipated the lockdowns and protests that are currently going on. Major events leading up to the election can make all the difference, including the ones we are seeing now. We simply do not know what will happen between now and election day. Something big could happen that will tilt the election in Trump's favor, or something big could happen that will tilt the election in Biden's favor. With all this in consideration, I have decided that I will not make my own prediction as to who will win the 2020 presidential election until a week before it happens. By this point in time, the conventions would have already taken place, the debates will have passed, and any major and possible election changing events should have already taken place by that point in time. This is just my own take on what's going on. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Election Minute out.